Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at uh, the person that you're dealing with, thinking of, separated from. We're going to see what this person is hiding from you, what they're not telling you. Okay, so apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. You can apply this to new love, current love, and ex. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Taurus. What messages do we have for, for Taurus? What messages do we have for, for Taurus? The person that Taurus is dealing with, thinking of separated from, what is this person not telling Taurus? What is this person hiding from Taurus? For September 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Six of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups. I feel like this person's making plans here with you. Seems like this person's building a life here with you. Okay. Whoever this is, I do feel like this person does see growth and expansion here with you. Like, I feel like this person wants to manifest with you. Like, I feel like this person feels like you are everything that they've ever dreamed of here. You know, we have the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we also have the Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, we have someone here that's really just in love with you. Just really attracted to you here. Okay, you know, I feel like this person wants to, wants everything for you. I feel like this person wants to give you the world here too. Taurus, some of the Six of Pentacles here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Six of Pentacles. And also the Ten of Swords in the reverse. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person, you know, never wants to hurt you. Basically, I feel like this person wants to hold, basically hold your heart protect your heart here. We have the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Ten of Cups and also the Emperor, Aries energy. We have the Empress of the Empress here. True pairs here. The Empress here and also we have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, some here sees you as their wish fulfillment. You know, I feel like their dreams are coming true here when this person's with you or that their dreams are being fulfilled here, okay? We have the Emperor, Aries energy and the Nine of Cups here, the Empress. Some of the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? And also the Hierophant. Yeah, I feel like this person is really committed to you here. This person is really loyal to you. The King of Cups here and the Hermit Virgo energy. I do feel like this is a very spiritual individual. Okay, if you're spiritual also, I feel like this person wants to walk the spiritual path here with you. Okay, I do feel like between you and your person here, I do feel like you guys have a lot of knowledge and wisdom here when it comes to your spiritual growth and your personal growth here. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles here and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like this person is very protective of you. I feel like this person is willing to do whatever it takes to protect you. And I feel like this person is willing to do whatever it takes to sort of like make you feel safe, uh, to make you feel safe with them. All right, what else do we have here for Taurus? What else does Taurus need to know? Look out for work on for September, 2024. For Taurus, for Taurus here. And we have the Tower, Aries Scorpio energy. Also, we have the Moon, Cancer Pisces energy. We have the Six of Wands here and the Two of Wands, okay. And the Ace of Swords here and the Five of Pentacles. It's kind of like one of those energies of like, you know what, I'm going to, you know, if things 
come up. Let's fix things get together here. You know, I feel like someone here is just really emotionally, deeply invested into you. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person's just, you know, very sensitive here. I feel like this person's also like in this energy of sort of like really trusting your intuition and guide it, their inner guidance here when it comes to you. And with the Seven of Pentacles and the Tower, tell me about the Moon card here. Why is the Moon card here? In the Five of Wands. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person also fears losing you here too. You know, this person could be having like these really vivid, vivid dreams about them losing you to other people here. Six of Wands. And the Devil, Capricorn Energy. So how about the Two of Wands here? And the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. Why is this devil and this magician here? When I see that, you know, kind of concerns me a little bit. You know, this could be indication that there's some sort of black magic that's happening here in the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. Mm. I would just kind of be careful with this person here. It's almost like an energy like everything is too good to be true here. You know, and I feel like this person has a bit of a dark side that is about to, that where they're about to sort of like reveal themselves here. Okay. You know, reveal their true selves to you. All right. So I do feel like we have some here that's definitely like, you know, been hiding uh, behind a mask here. And I feel like this person's uh, mask is starting to slip soon here. Yeah, it's starting to slip soon here. You know, I do feel like I be believe that this person, you know, can be very controlling here too. You know, I feel like this person's telling you everything that you want to hear. This person's telling you, you, you know, basically, you know, uh, basically this person's like kind of like wrapping things in a pretty bow here. And, 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 and I feel like this person's just deep down inside, this person's a horrible individual. We have the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. And also the Ace of Pentacles here. I, I feel like whatever this person's telling you that they're not going to do, I feel like they're going to do it. Yeah, I feel like they're going to do it here. They have a bit of a dark secret here, I feel. Yeah, they have a bit of a dark secret here, and I feel like this person will reveal themselves here to you. I mean, you might already be seeing some sort of red flags here, Taurus. You're kind of like, okay, this is really odd, you know? This person's telling me all these things, and it's the first person want all these things here with me. You know, and I feel like, you know, someone here is just, um, you know, definitely not saying who they say they are. You know, with the Hierophant in here and the Hermit, you know, this person could have a lot of spiritual knowledge and wisdom, and they feel like this person uses it as a weapon to control people. I would just be careful with this person here. Yeah, I, I, I would be careful with this person because I feel like this person definitely has a bit of a dark side, like I said. All right. Um, so, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.